What's up guys, it's your girl Super Teen 10 and today I want to talk about a topic that I don't think I've heard too many people talk about but I know that it's going on in the other fighting games and that is the high DLCs. So as we know Tekken is the next big fighting game that's going to be dropping very very soon. I believe it comes out the 24th and my question to everybody out there is are they going to follow the same you know practices as street fighter and mortal kombat when it comes to the high price dlcs because as we've noticed it has been ridiculous with street fighter 6 i mean you know the 600 coins and you know not a lot of people buying those dlcs even though those costumes are really really good you know i feel like they're a little bit over the top with the price and you know with MK having like things like fatalities costing way too much you know it's Tekken gonna follow suit and my thoughts is I think that they might and the only reason why I'm saying that is because as you know Tekken has always had a customization option where you can just put you know clothes on the character you know any way you like and Street Fighter and MK don't really have that so you have to buy their actual costumes to make them look you know a certain type of way but in Tekken you can customize colors pants shoes hair all that kind of stuff and it's very likely that they will already have like a predetermined outfit in the you know portion where you pick your character and you can see everything that they are wearing now that is the portion that I'm talking about today because that may be like some DLC costumes I know that they have a pre-order which is those weird gold outfits but I never thought that those were interesting or worth it they look kind of tacky to me but when it comes to just DLC overall I know that something that would be cool in this game would to you know bring back a lot of classic costumes a lot of Tekken 1, 2, 3 costumes would be nice I mean I would love to see like the old school Kazuya when he has the tennis shoes on and the jacket and you know just outfits like that I know they brought back King's old Tekken 2 outfit with the tie and the suit things like that I would love for those to return so will they and will they be you know so pricey that we'll be like no 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 we don't want to even like buy that or deal with it now the customization sliders on Tekken 8 they seem you know pretty standard they kind of remind me of Tekken 7 a little bit but they also have like some Tekken 6 vibes to them um you know everything looks a little basic the thing that i'm hoping for is that you play the game you unlock more i hope this isn't just it because that was the problem that i had in tekken 7 is that i just don't think that the variations of anything were that good and i thought it was a little whack that was just my opinion but i feel like what they might do with this character customization is have dlc packs where it would add more stuff like more hairstyles or more eye colors or you know more face paint something like that i feel like any kind of way that a cash grab can happen is very possible it would be done that way with tekken because i just feel like why wouldn't they follow suit like everybody else it just seems like a thing they would do is to have like an you know lip color pack and an eyebrow pack now i know that might seem strange and bizarre and dumb but it seems like it's the most likely thing to happen because if they're not going to have a way for you to unlock this stuff in the game while you're playing it, they're going to make you charge for it. So that's the thing that's worrying me a little bit. And I feel like other people should be concerned by that because not even, you know, character customization is safe from, you know, the DLC high prices. Now, how much would that cost? It shouldn't cost that much. Now, I know that something like this being this simple was a problem in DOA 6. No, I don't know if anybody remember, but DOA six had hair color changes and they were too much it had got to the point where people complained and you know the game was already dead on arrival anyway it was kind of already wrecked by you know certain things and they did that customization thing and it just ruined it all together so i really don't want tekken to do that i know that i want this game to start off strong and i just feel like them throwing high dlc prices for just clothes and just like lip color face paint all that stuff it's not going to be a good idea uh, right off the bat. It may take some time for them to actually come out with a, their first DLC pack. Whatever that may be. And I'm not talking about characters. I'm just talking about outfits in general. Whatever it is. It may take a time, you know, for them to, you know, come out with that. But I know that it will happen. 
you know, 9 to 10 is going to happen. And I don't know what the prices are going to be. But I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think that Tekken is going to have the same kind of DLC problem? Like, you know, MK and Street Fighter. And if so, y'all let me know what y'all thinking in the comments. But y'all know what y'all have to do. Make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter. And make sure you guys check me out here every week on YouTube. Until next time, guys. Peace.